What's up guys, it is Chris back with another news video and today I wanted to talk about a watch that actually was introduced in 2019 and they have now just come out with a new limited edition version of it, actually two limited edition versions of it. It is a Vacheron and it was one of the first news videos that I actually did on this channel. It was the Corey Richards special edition. It was a one-off watch that actually sold later on at auction for over $100,000 proceeds actually went to a charity and it was a watch that they made for his travels to Mount Everest or he was going to be traveling to Mount Everest and trying to complete a climb. He is a mountain climber and photographer. He actually did not successfully climb Mount Everest which was kind of disappointing I guess for Vacheron. However the watch was extremely extremely popular because it was a very good looking watch. This was a watch in titanium. It had orange accents. It had a fabric strap with orange accents in it as well. Just a beautiful watch that they came out with. And of course, they have decided to come out with two limited editions inspired by that original one-off watch. And by inspired, I mean they are almost exactly the same as that original version. So that original watch was a dual time watch. They are coming out with a dual time and a chronograph version in limited numbers. So 150 pieces for each of these. The dual time is almost exactly the same as that original Corey Richards watch. So both of them do get a titanium case. The only part that is not titanium is the actual ring for the bezel. Everything else is titanium. Uh, the bezel is titanium. The case is titanium. The crown, um, all the case back is titanium. Uh, of course, you're getting that rose gold rotor, which is very similar to the original, but not exactly. And of course, you're getting that fabric strap, which is sort of a canvas strap that has some orange texturing and orange um, accents to it, excuse me. And that is also a slightly different from the original, uh, less textured and more of a canvas strap than actually a fabric strap. So that original strap was actually more of a fabric, I believe. Now what they're doing also is limiting these to 150 pieces. Uh, it has the exact same movement, has the exact same dial, it has that textured dial. Um, and then of course those orange accents. Uh, the orange accents are different on either watch. So the orange accents on the dual time, same as the original. So you're getting that second time zone. The uh, arrow hand is actually an orange. And then of course you have a 24 hour uh, scale on there. That's also an orange. And then on the chronograph version, you're getting that same textured dial and all of that stuff. Uh, however, the chronograph hands are what are in that orange color. Really just beautiful watches. The tones on the watches are really perfect gray, sort of dark gray, light gray, and orange. They look uh, rugged and they look like they can actually be used for what they are meant to be used for, mountaineering. Um, and I have to say, I really love the direction that Vacheron is going in. Um, and I think a lot of people are taking notice of Vacheron. You can see that the prices on Vacheron overseas, ironically, have been going up over the past few months. Um, and watches like the overseas that I have, uh, the, the World Timer have actually gone up in price, but mostly it's the time only and the dual times that have really gone up in price a lot. Uh, and they are actually selling for over retail. So if you're looking for a blue dial Vacheron now overseas, they are actually selling for over retail. So they're getting a little bit of that sort of uh, kick from the, uh, oh, you know, from the Nautilus and from the Royal Oak, I guess. So a lot of people who cannot buy those watches are now going to Vacheron, but now Vacheron obviously do not make watches in very high numbers. So what happens is they aren't available. Now, this is not the first time that Vacheron have used titanium. I actually own a titanium Vacheron. That is the key to Lee, but it's not the first time they've even used it in the overseas. They've used it in uh, the previous version in the, uh, the Vacheron overseas version two. Uh, and there were a couple of different really cool versions, uh, beautiful watches that are really a bargain. Some of them you can get for around $14,000. Now that sounds like a lot of money, but this is a Holy Trinity watch. Uh, they are made impeccably. They're beautiful watches. Uh, and if you want one of the Holy Trinity and you want one of the Holy Trinity sport watches, um, the Vacheron Overseas is still a bargain. Now these are expensive, like I said, uh, and I'll give you some of the specs and prices on these. So 42 millimeters for the chronograph, it's like 42.5. Uh, 
uh, millimeters and there's 41 millimeters for that dual time. You're getting a fabric and a rubber strap. As I mentioned, you're getting that fabric strap, which is in a gray tone, uh, has orange accents, and then you're getting a rubber strap. You are not getting a bracelet with these at all. So, so normally you get three items with your overseas. You're getting a stainless steel bracelet and two straps, a crocodile strap and a rubber strap. In this case, they are not giving you a bracelet because it would be a titanium bracelet, and I guess they did not do that. So the prices here are very high. Uh, the chronograph here is for $37,000, and then that dual time is $31,000. So yes, these are very, very expensive. They are very limited. I guarantee you these will sell out pretty much immediately. They will be available in fall, but there are a lot of Vacheron fans out there who really want to get their hands on this. That Corey Richards was very, very popular. Not, not because of Corey Richards, because that sort of got lost in translation with these watches. Um, the fact that he never actually made it to Everest, uh, no, no one really even mentions that. Um, I think it's because these watches are really good looking and they are going to be very limited. So uh, obviously very popular. Um, and these will definitely sell out. But tell me what you guys think of these watches in the comments below. I know a majority of people will not obviously uh, care about this or even want to buy one, um, but it's really cool to see that a brand like Vacheron could sort of get out of its own shadow and start doing something really cool, uh, something very different. And I think this is very different. I think that they've done a really good job with these. I like this better than any AP out there or any Patek Philippe, in my opinion. Um, but then again, I am a Vacheron fan. I'm a fan of the brand. Uh, and uh, that's basically who I am. But tell me what you think. I want to hear from you guys. Please tell me. Uh, am I wrong on these? I think that they will sell out, but we'll see. They come out in the fall. Uh, and I'm sure that they will um, they will sell pretty well. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in.